Well, hello everybody. This is Byron King with Investor Intel. We are coming to you from Toronto, Ontario, and the PDAC conference, the Prospector Developers Association of Canada, the world's largest gathering of uh, mines and miners. I'm here today with Simon Ridgway of Volcanic Gold. Volcanic. Uh, Volcanic operates in the nation of Guatemala in Central America. Uh, if you are ever looking at a geologic map of the world and has ocean basins, you will see these giant fractures that come from like below Cuba all the way across Central America, right through Guatemala. And it's really interesting geologically and it leads to volcanic gold. So hello, Simon. It's great hello, Byron. You. Thanks for the invitation to be here. It's wonderful to speak with you. We've spoken before. Uh, tell everybody, just give a real quick summary. What is volcanic gold? What are you doing down there in so volcanic Guatemala? Volcanic gold is an exploration company. I've worked in Guatemala on and off over the last 15 years, on and off because of political changes. We've made a couple of great discoveries down there. Um, Cerro Blanco, you know, four million ounce gold deposit was discovered by my team way back in 1998. Um, and right now, Volcanic trades on the Vancouver Stock Exchange, symbol is VG. It's well financed with about $5 million in the treasury. The company's, the, the share price has been very quiet uh, for the last six to eight months because we've been, we've been pending a couple of things. You know, Bluestone is building the, a mine on uh, Cerro Blanco, that discovery I just mentioned. Right, Bluestone is a whole other company. It's another company that's run by the Lundy Group, yeah. Um, and it's got about a four and a half million ounce deposit that the they're going to mine open pit. It was permitted for underground mining. They changed that to a, the idea to an open pit because it's a much bigger deposit that way. And it's taking some time to permit that. There's been some, you know, there's been some um, um, anti-mining groups fighting against it, but I believe they will get the permit sometime during this year. Uh, and we have a discovery north of there, about 50 kilometers, called the Holly Discovery which is a 400,000 ounces at nine grams. And I think it's going to grow to plus a million ounces. But until Bluestone gets permitted, I'll put the drilling on hold because really, you know, I, I need to see that permit in place before I can continue drilling to, to show that the, 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 the government is going to be pro-mining. So I admire your honesty. You're telling everyone there's a political angle to this, a, bit of a risk factor, but you're looking to see what happens with what Bluestone? Happens there? Yeah, the company, as I said, Volcanics Well Finance, we got $5 million in the treasury. But until I see Bluestone get the permit, I'm going to put the drilling on hold and sit with that. And, you know, what, we, we, what we are doing right now is going through the, uh, doing all the reports to get an exploitation license in place, right? So that takes some, that takes some time. But as far as drilling further and expanding that resource, Let's make sure we combine it before we expand it. Well, let's let's clarify to the viewers out there. Let's nail it down. What is the volcanic resource that you have now? Because it sounds very good. At yeah, nine, I heard nine grams. Per nine ton. grams per That's ton. That's a lot of grams. That's a lot of grams, so and it's about serious. four hundred thousand ounces at the moment. It's open in all directions. Uh -huh. um, I don't think it's going to be a multi-million ounce deposit, but I think we can get to a million ounces on this on this one vein system we've got. So, um, I've been very patient. I don't want to spend the money drilling until I see Bluestone permitted. Mm -hmm. But, it, but uh, to the extent that you do get the permits, this seems like it would be a, a play that would be developable in a place like Guatemala. In a place like, absolutely, absolutely. It's under, underground, so the, the, you know, the impact will be small. Obviously, we would, we would truck the ore to Bluestone's mine, so there'd be no mine built where we are. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, a great, it's, a great, it's a great discovery. So I'm being patient and not drilling it. Further north from there, up in, a, in, a, in one of these major structures that runs across all the way across the Caribbean and through Guatemala, we have a zone called the Motagua Norte zone. And in that zone, we have a series of north-south um, trending shear zones that are cut right across that major structure where we're finding a lot of visible gold in coarse veining. Um, we haven't been able to really understand the structural controls completely, the dip of the veins on that, because we can't trench or drill until we get the exploration permits in place. And that has been a slow process also. I think in the next two to three months, we'll have those uh, exploration licenses in place and we can get to work on those. But they're, the gold numbers in these, in these quartz veins are in the 50 to 100 grams, so very, very high grade, a lot of visible gold, never been drilled. And, never, and there is no really no artisanal mining in Guatemala. So you find these big blocks of rock with visible gold in there nobody's ever touched. It's quite amazing when the rest of Central America, you'd have people mining that 
in Guatemala, it's not really a mining country. So yeah, well, that, that's remarkable, really. Because, and when you talk about these high grades, I mean, we, I mentioned earlier, I was not kidding that. I mean, there are these massive shear zones on a macro sense that macro I mean that, that literally extend into the Earth's mantle. Yeah. And you are right. bringing up magma, you're bringing up fluids from the you know from beneath the Earth's crust. And so we think I, that explains a lot about where this gold and other minerals. Yeah. Now these are orogenic vein systems, so they they go forever down. So we obviously we need to start drilling, trenching, and drilling on them to define them. But we have. We have, you know, extended them for a kilometer or more in outcrop and, and finding that visible gold in, in quite continuous on some of those zones. Some of them are a bit sporadic, they pinch and swell quite a bit. Some of them are wide and continuous. So I, I can't wait to get these exploration licenses in place. And it is a process in Guatemala, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you've, you've got a good start, but you've got incredible grade and you've got fa fabulous geology, which means that if you throw some more money into the drill bits, uh, you know, into the basic the, the, the mapping, the trenching, the, right. the geophysics. Is there, if you pour some more money into exploration, those numbers could grow significantly. Significantly. And, you know, right now, with big, the company's got 44 million shares out. We're trading at about 20 cents. So we have a market cap of sort of under 10 million, and we have 5 million cash in the treasury, plus these two discoveries. So, you know, but I'm, I'm asking the shareholders, and they have been, to be patient. Um, Let's spend the money once we know we can mine the projects. And for those out there who are shareholders or who might consider being shareholders, uh, we're, 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 looking, we're looking at a beaten down bargain that's sitting on high grade gold uh, and you just have to- And cashed up. So just be, be patient shareholders is what I need. Okay, well this is Volcanic Gold. This is Simon Ridgway. I'm Byron King and it's been a pleasure to speak with you. Pleasure Simon, you again, thank you viewers out there for watching. Uh, we, uh, we wish you well in your investing. Simon, we wish you well uh, with Volcanic Gold. Thank you, Byron. Appreciate the invitation.